Joining us by phone to add insight to this horrifying story is Panthers beat writer George Richards of the Miami Herald, who was, of course was in the arena. George, we all saw the video, but what was it like to be there? Describe what was going on around you. It was just uh, just a horrifying scene, obviously. Uh, you're sitting there watching a hockey game, and all of a sudden you just see the guy grab his neck and, you know, all that blood, obviously, uh, that red that red color on that ice. I mean, just a sickening look and, you know, just, you know, you know that Buffalo crowd, they're loud. It's a packed arena and just people were just horrified. I mean, it was just an unbelievable scene. You mentioned the Buffalo crowd. They've seen this before. Of course, a different arena 19 years ago. I'm talking about Clint Malarchuk. I was wondering, perhaps Buffalo Sabre fans very loyal. Uh, perhaps there were some people in that crowd that was there on that day uh, 19 years ago. Did you hear anything about that? Oh, for sure. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people uh, were in the auditorium, you know, back in 1989 when, when Clint got... Uh, Gotten his accident, uh, you know, just because hockey fans in Buffalo are, you know, so into it, and you know, these people have been going to games here for decades. You know, generations of folks have been going to these Saber games. So yeah, I'm sure there were quite a few people in the stands that that uh, were there when Malarchuk got hurt. You know, there was talk about postponing this game. There was less than 10 minutes to go in the game, but the powers to be chose to finish off those last 10 minutes. If I'm a teammate of Richard Zednick, I can't wait to get off the ice. I don't even want to finish this game. It doesn't matter. You spoke with a lot of his teammates after the game. What were they saying? Uh, for the most part, everybody was of the mind that let's yeah, this game should not have been played. Uh, Ole Jokinen, who unfortunately that was his skate that, that uh, struck uh, Richard, um, he was like, my head wasn't in it. He goes, I don't know what was going on. Uh, Thomas Vokun, uh, the starting goaltender for the Panthers, who happened to be the backup last night, um, good friends with Richard Zednick, he goes, why did we play? Um, but, you know, you can understand it from hockey state, you know, standpoint, uh, this was the last time the two teams played this season. There's only 25-something games left. Um, and both teams are in the playoff hunt, so you had to finish it eventually. Um, I'm sure if it had happened earlier in the game, maybe they would have canceled it, but for, they figured for 10 minutes, let's just play it. So what are Doug? Um, he had surgery uh, Sunday night, emergency surgery Sunday night after the accident. Um, you know, Clint Malarchuk was back on the ice within four days. I don't think anybody within the Panthers organization is expecting that from Richard Zednick. Uh, I think they're just going to let him rest, let him heal, let him do what he has to do. Um, obviously, this is a, a, a tough deal to go through physically as well as mentally. Um, so I think they're just going to let him have his time, and they'll figure it out, you know, whenever, whenever it is, it is. Hockey players, no question, George, are very special athletes. George Richards, thank you for joining us. No problem with it. Thank you. Also